ASMR. Hey guys, I'm fed up. And you want to know why I'm fed up? Because so many... Okay, basically, last week I made a video about how much money I made with a million views on YouTube. And if you didn't watch the video, I'll link it below. I basically reveal how much money I made. But you guys know that the whole key with how I made a million views wasn't necessarily about, you know, being the best person with ideas and I'm just the best creator of everything. No, bitch. To get to a million views on YouTube took a lot of time. I kid you not, I've been on this platform for like eight years and it was just last year I finally got my break, but no one wants to talk about that. Literally, if you wanna be a millionaire, it's not that difficult. It's just, just get this, okay? Have the right message at the right time. That's it. That is it. Okay, yeah, it's it's a lot because there's so many things that you can't control, right? How do you know the market's not ready? How do you know your video is a good idea? How do you know when it's the right time? Like, Jay, what the fuck? So if you're a creator feeling overwhelmed with increasing your time and lifespan, essentially, this video is for you. I want to be that person to let you know that you're impatient as fuck, but that's okay because everyone else is. So we're gonna be in this together. Today, we're gonna talk about how to increase your consistency, how to essentially stay in the game for long enough so one day, you'll break through because if you fucking throw 10,000 darts one of them's gonna hit the fucking bullseye and that's my theory unless you're Elon Musk okay so this video is gonna revolve around like one single point which is runway and it's kind of like when you're on a plane when you are on a plane when you take off that time when you are starting to when you're in air is called your runway if you have a runway that's too short you're probably not gonna make it i'm just saying you're not gonna make it off the ground if your runway is too long what happens is what if your plane just doesn't move fast enough because you think you have enough time on runway and you don't even take off so today i want you to blow up get clout and take off by increasing your runway. All right, so the first thing is how to increase your runway, which is literally money. How do you increase your time and consistency? My first advice would be to get comfortable with failure. I've been doing a thing recently where I actually go every single night before I go to bed, I have a journal. Let me, let me grab it. So this is my journal. Every day I've been writing one thing I failed on today. And if I don't have anything that I failed on, then I have to tell myself I'll try harder to fail tomorrow. I know that's super weird. And I'll give you an example. Here it is. Day one out of 25. Today I failed at emailing brands to work with me. I was scared that they would reject me. Just like your dad. Wait, what? I love you, Dad. Next time, I will try to shoot an email regardless of my emotions. I was pretty stressed today, but tomorrow will be a better one. And I've been doing that literally every single day. And it's so important for me to fail a lot. And I hope you are able to do too. A lot of people look at my million views on YouTube or my tons of videos as in a thing that I just woke up with. No, bitch, I failed so many times. And I have a quote, actually. So if you have 10,000 iterations, right, you consistently do something over and over again, you're gonna get better, right? The light bulb wasn't invented by one shot tape. It was created out of... I'm not gonna lie, I need to look up who invented the light bulb. All right, so Thomas Edison, who invented the light bulb, literally took 10,000 tries before he got the one fucking light to work. If we're not taking at least five failures why are we so impatient with our results i've seen a lot of people you're probably watching this sally um you just create five videos and you're like fuck this shit it doesn't work Bruh, if thomas edison stopped at five points we would all be in fucking darkness so let's keep going bitches <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting really passionate. So the first step, if you want to increase your runway, is to make sure you're just testing a lot. Stop like stalling your time and like waiting for the right moment. There's no fucking right moment. You need to be able to fail a little bit every single day. And you're gonna start to understand that it's really uncomfortable. Trust me, I don't like failing. No one wants to, but you get stronger. And, and pain is temporary and all these emotions are temporary, but tomorrow you'll feel the strength because of that. So don't be afraid to fail a little bit today. I challenge you actually, if you do want to grab a notebook, if you have a PBJ notebook, that'd be great, but you can use anything to write down what you failed on today. It's a great exercise to do before you go to bed. All right, step two is after you do all your failures and reiterations of trying new things, the biggest thing you need to realize is when you're trying to do a lot of things, it needs to be cheap. You gotta be a cheap ass. You can't sit on your high horse and want to try 10,000 things and each of the 10,000 tries costs you $10,000. Unless you're like a multi-millionaire, I would just advise you to make those iterations or little tries really cheap. For example, if you're making a video and you feel like you need like five producers, a new camera, 
I wouldn't do that. I would start with your iPhone. Start there and then you can upgrade later. But there's again, going back to the first point, if you wanna increase your runway, you wanna do a lot of shit in a short amount of time, right? So it can't be too expensive. A lot, a lot of people are waiting. And I'm literally gonna call out some people. So bear with me. But I know a lot of people who are waiting for their perfect degrees and their certification or when they're older or when they have a nicer camera to start. If you're waiting, just get get out because you're not, it's, <laughs> your plane's gonna crash. <laughs> I just wanna save you guys time. Like if you really wanna start a business or create content, don't wait because with technology, if you're if you're familiar with something called Moore's Law, um, the definition of Moore's Law, and the reason why I'm telling you, is that technology doubles every 16 months. Let me make sure that's right, actually. I could be totally wrong. Moore's Law. Oh, I was right. Okay, so every two years, technology doubles. So if you're waiting four years to get a degree, which is totally great for education and doing your field, but if you want to become an entrepreneur, take risks, and you're waiting two years, by the time your idea reaches the point where you're ready to do it, it's too late. Someone else took it. It's competitive. This landscape is fierce, okay? So I do believe in taking your time and listening to your body, but also put your emotions aside because for the most part, a lot of us don't do things out of just fear of rejection. In reality, rejection itself is not so bad. So I hope step two in regards to making it cheap, just empowers you just to make it dirty like do the, get the shit done it doesn't need to be perfect there's not going to be a better time there, there might be a time where you have the money but right now is the best time okay so i recommend anyone who has a crazy idea literally do it right now do it fuck after this video do it you're probably not though because most of y'all are lazy like anyone we're human. All right, so if you aren't scared already by my personality, I'm really sorry. But I have really important step three for you guys. Once you figure out how to make so many iterations, secondly, make it cheap. I actually learned this from a podcast called How to Be Rich. It's by the Navel Podcast. And my friend Max actually recommended it to me. So shout out to you, Max. I honestly recommend this podcast because I learned a huge thing, which is do not penny pinch. Okay, so this is a story time I had. I mean, you guys actually know this for sure, you were with me when this happened. If you don't know, I went to New York last month for an event called Next Gen, and it was amazing. But before I even booked the tickets, I was crunching numbers so hard. I know this is gonna sound super obscure for saying in step two to do everything cheap, but my advice for step three is just to fucking stop being cheap. <laughs> These are oxymorons, I know, but let me explain. When I went to New York, I knew this event was going to change my life. I knew there's going to be connections, investors. I was able to take my company and my brand to next level. I was able to network with people that are doing cool shit. And for me, that is priceless. On the flip side, I was crunching numbers because I didn't want to, I didn't know if I could afford a $400 airplane ticket. And in reality, I had that money. Like most of you guys, if you're able to work hard enough, you're able to make $400, right? So you can see the return of 4,000, 40,000, 4 million, right? And in that moment before I booked the tickets, I was overthinking it. I was like, I don't think I can go. $400 is a lot of money. And it is because I don't come for much and I work for everything I have. So I'm like, man, like I could spend this money or I could save it. My dad gave me really good advice actually. And I remember this so sharply. He was looking at me really, really stressed out, looking at airplane tickets, trying to find the best deal. And he said, hey Jade, whatever you do, this money you're spending, it's going to yourself. Always invest in yourself. And that really hit me hard because investing in yourself just means you believe in yourself. That, you know what, I'm gonna put $400 because I'm gonna see 4,000 back. I believe him, I can do it. And this is not necessarily even about money, right? Like, with anything, if you can't invest five hours of your week to make content or to spend time with your, like, fucking put your head down and work and fail, that means you don't believe in your potential. If you're not able to put sacrifices in, it means you don't think you're going to be able to top and just be honest about that. I just know a ton of people who talk a lot about their goals, where they're going to be, how much money they're going to make. And that's amazing. But the minute you ask them to invest in their time and money, they back out. And that's a coward. Save your time. Go back to whatever you're doing. Just don't start a business. Don't create content. A lot of people just need to have that realization and there's nothing wrong with it. I don't think everyone should start a business at all. I don't think everyone should make content. It's freaking hard to put yourself out there, feel alone, and at the same time do crazily audacious things that will hurt your bank account. But because you believe in yourself, because you believe in your future, you still make those choices anyways. And 
I guess my end statement is if you are someone who wants to increase your one way, step one and step two is great, but it doesn't work without step three. So if you're a creator that's hesitating to just move out or invest in yourself, just have that conversation. Do I really want it? Do I really believe I can make it back? Because if not, I just stop. Honestly, it, it, this fucking shit's painful and I want you guys to have the highest chances. So just have that honest conversation with yourself and you'll be able to increase your runway. When you start making decisions that are bold, risk-taking, it might not work, but with step one and step two, with a lot of iterations, you're constantly changing, you're adapting, you're patient, you're also not fancy, you put your head down and work. Over time, you'll see results. Over time, you'll see the comeback. and. The best part is it's unknown. Like, I don't even know if anything I'm doing right now will succeed, right? I have an app called PBJ, and I'm not sure if it's going to go where I want it to go, but I believe in myself, and this is really a message to myself. Like, when I was in New York, I was like, you know what, $400? I'm gonna, I'm gonna book this ticket. I'm gonna book it. I'll see this money back. I, I know my value. And when you're consistently cutting corners because you're afraid, you don't value yourself. Value yourself, guys. Value who you are. Be confident. Show up. And it takes time. This is fucking weird as scary shit and probably don't like me because I'm really in your face. But I hope you know it comes from a place where I really care about you guys. I want you to be successful. I really want to see you guys take off. I want to see you guys fly, thrive. That's just my entire purpose for building this channel and my companies. I want to inspire you guys to do something crazy. All right, guys, before you leave, make sure you comment below your thoughts. I want to know if you have this conversation with yourself, if this at all made you realize that Either A, I'm not serious, or B, I'm fucking serious. I'm gonna take some actions. I wanna know if you're A or B, comment below. And it's, just be honest, honestly, like, you don't need to be ashamed if you pick A, because at the same time, there's so many amazing, like, beautiful things you're able to do that has nothing to do with starting a business. It's probably the worst thing to do to start a business, honestly. It will drive you insane. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm so floored by your guys' support. I know this community is a bunch of crazy bee thinkers as well. So I'm here for you if you're kind of realizing that, man, I'm not taking this shit seriously. I need to take a jump. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below. Check out PBJ app, which is my business. If you want to see my dreams, that's what I've been working on. And I love to hear your feedback. PBJ is a personal trainer for creators. Basically, we give you feedback on your videos. We help you kind of figure out how to monetize and figure out how to make your career more sustainably awesome. So I'll link that below. It's free. Check it out. If you guys are not already subscribed to Domination, I'll catch you guys in the next one and I'll see you very soon. Peace.